the latest edition of Viva Tech, Paris's largest tech show, kicked off in France for the seventh year in a row. From June 14th to 17th, over 2,500 exhibitors will showcase their latest innovation aimed at shaping tomorrow's world. Viva Tech has become a not-to-be-missed event for the many African startups which made the trip. Hence, the need for them to collaborate, according to Cote d'Ivoire's Minister of Communication and the Digital Economy. Our social and cultural realities are different from those of other continents. We believe that African countries are similar in some ways. And one of the aims of digital transformation is to make people's lives easier. From this point of view, Cote d'Ivoire has initiated a trade show, SACEN, the African show of startups and the digital economy. We've held our second edition, and this show is growing. So we hope it can become Africa's own VivaTech. This year's first is a pavilion dedicated to the future of sports, and Africa will play a role in it. Senegal, more precisely, will host the fourth Summer Youth Olympic Games in 2026. Thursday's high point was a long-awaited talk by Nigerian philanthropist and Afro-capitalist Tony Elumelu. He sang the praises of African entrepreneurship. You must embrace technology to survive. If you fail to embrace technology, you're building your business to fail. And as entrepreneurs, we should be building businesses to last. Some of us are where we are today because we built our businesses to last and to even last longer beyond us. So there's so much we can do. Technology is an enabler. We see it now. It's no longer clear. We see it in real life that this is the way to go. And I believe that platforms like Viva Tech, like this, is very important. But what I also say is it should not only be technology for good. It should be technology for all. The 2023 edition has given prominence to artificial intelligence. The sector is getting increasingly popular in Africa a continent firmly at the heart of the digital revolution.